This is very much going to be a quick one. Uh, it's going to be a lot like the pause menu video. So in this one, I'm going to go over singleton. Now then, what is a singleton? A singleton is basically a static class. What do I mean by that? I mean that no matter where you reference this class in your scripts, it will always be the same class. Okay. So if we go ahead and create a new uh, script, um, so file new, and we're going to call this singleton dot gd. And create that. Um, it will automatically extend variable node. Now to make it singleton, we go to project settings, auto load, and then we find the path of our singleton dot gd. That's fine. Where is it? Is it just in res? Oh no, I do I have to save it? Oh. Oh, it is just in res. I'm blind. Okay. <laughs> um, so go to project settings, auto load path, um, and we can just select this to an arrow. We call it singleton and add it. And then we check the singleton box and it's a singleton. It's as simple as that. Um, so how do we know it's a singleton? Well, if we create a variable and we call it foo, foo equals sorry, and we go to player, and when under fixed process, we'll just print singleton dot foo, convert it to a string, just cars, and run it. And it outputs three. It's as simple as that. Singletons are very powerful. It is helpful for transferring data between scenes, which is very much what we're going to be doing with inventories and menus and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that for singletons. I'll be back tomorrow.